Welcome to Book a Day for Little Learners. Today we're going to read My Family Celebrates Kwanzaa, and we're going to learn all about Kwanzaa and what it means. My Family Celebrates Kwanzaa by Lisa Bullard, illustrated by Constanza Basaluzu. Table of Contents. Chapter 1, Ready for Kwanzaa, page 4. Chapter 2, Lighting the Candles, page 8. Chapter 3, Another Word Each Night, chap page 14. Chapter 4, My Turn, page 20. Learn About Holidays, 22. Think About Holidays, page 23. Glossary, page 24. To Learn More, 24. And Index, 24. Chapter 1, Ready for Kwanzaa. Hi, I'm Kevin, and we're getting ready for Kwanzaa. That's a special holiday for my family. It celebrates our African-American culture. My mom puts a mat on a table. I add the candle holder and candles. Mom adds fruits and vegetables. What kinds of fruits and vegetables do you see? I see corn. I see bananas and what look like apples or peaches maybe. Next comes the unity cup. We put out presents too. Now we're ready for Kwanzaa. What holiday is Kevin's family getting ready for? Mm-hmm, Kwanzaa, yes. Chapter two, lighting the candles. Kwanzaa lasts for seven days. We light another candle each night. My grandpa goes first. Tonight he, light, he lights the black candle. Then grandpa explains the Kwanzaa word for the first day. Every day has a special word in Swahili. That's an African language. Nguzu Saba, the seven principles. Emoju, unity. Grandpa's word means unity. That means sticking together as a group. Who sticks together as a group? Families. Oftentimes your, your class, you and your classmates stick together. Sticking together is why Kwanzaa began. A man named Dr. Mulana Karenga created Kwanzaa in 1966. He wanted to bring African Americans together. Do you remember how many days does Kwanzaa last? Mm -hmm. Eight, that is right, eight. Chapter three, another word each night. Somebody new lights the candles each night. I watch closely so I'm ready for my turn. So everybody that's there gets a turn on a different night, right? So it's a family gathering that might be you, your siblings, your parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins. Mom lights the candles on the third night. We talk about helping one another solve problems. So this looks like the problem was that there were dead leaves in their yard. It was maybe after the fall and they the leaves had fallen to the ground. So they were working together to put them in the bag. For this, they're solving the problem of how to get all the toys cleaned up quickly or helping someone who's in need. Maybe they were too sick or too ill to cook for themselves. So they take them food. My brother lights the candles on the fifth night. We talk about setting goals to help our community. So in what ways can you help your community? Is there something you can do to help clean up your yard or your neighbor's yard? Could you bring in your tra the trash can for your neighbor? My goal is to be a teacher. That's what I am, my friends. I'm a teacher. 
I get to teach little people all kinds of things like how to be good readers and how to love learning. The sixth night of Kwanzaa is my favorite. We go to a big party every year. Look at that party. Lots of drums, lots of rhythm, lots of beautiful clothing, beautiful textiles, dancing, lots of food. You see all the food back there? Who lights the candles on the third night? Do you remember who lit the candle? A different person lights the candle every night. Chapter four, my turn. It's the last day of Kwanzaa. I finally get to light the candles. That would be an exciting time when it's your turn, isn't it, friends? Grandpa says my special word means faith. He said I should believe in our people every day. That will be like living Kwanzaa all year long. What does Kevin's special word mean? His special word means faith. And this is about learning about holidays. Kwanzaa lasts from December 26th to January 1st. Each day stands for a different Kwanzaa word, such as unity or faith. The Kwanzaa candle holder has three red candles, one, two, three, and one black candle, and three green candles, one, two, three. The candles are lit in a special order. Families celebrate Kwanzaa in many ways. Some families drink juice from a special unity cup. Fruits and vegetables are important during Kwanzaa. They remind people of the old celebrations held in Africa when the crops were ready. And then here's some questions about why was Kwanzaa created? Why do you think Kwanzaa lasts for seven days? What chapter starts on page eight? And what is the glossary in this book? So some of them were comprehension questions. Why was Kwanzaa created? I hope after reading this book, you understand why it was created, that an African-American man wanted this holiday celebrated in America for African-Americans to support each other. Why does Kwanzaa last for seven days? Do you remember what we read about in the story? Kwanzaa lasts for seven days because there are seven days of seven words that showed the different traits that are important to um, African-Americans and to Kwanzaa, the seven principles. Unity, self-determination, collective work and responsibility, cooperative economics, purpose, creativity, and faith. I hope this story helped you learn a little bit more about Kwanzaa. If you want to check out other books on our Book a Day for Little Learners YouTube page. We do have other Kwanzaa stories as well as Christmas stories and Hanukkah stories. We would love for you to check those out. If you like this video, I would love for you to click the thing, thumbs up button as well as subscribe so that you can be alerted by hitting the bell. You can be alerted to any time a new video is uploaded, which is every single day. Thanks so much for joining me and I hope to see you again tomorrow.